Hi, my name is Sebastian. I'm product specialist at Sony in Europe. And we are here in the Zagreb at our roadshow. And this is our brand new F55. So one of our two new Super 35mm cameras we introduced um, last year, at the end of last year. The special for the F55 is the F55 can record internally 4K. So it's not only HD internally, so it's also 4K. So you can use our existing SBS cards or the SBS Pro Plus to record 4K directly into this model. So the 4K, if you record 4K internally on the SBS Pro Plus, it's around about half an hour. It depends on the cards. So we are um, we have a 64 gigabyte card and also 128, but half an hour it's for the small card is no problem at all. Um, Talking about the F55, as I said, it's a 4K camera, so that means we have 4K sensor. So behind the PL mount, we have the 4K sensor with a resolution of uh, 4096 by 2160. And the special of this sensor is that we have um, color filters with a white color gamut. So the widest color gamut a digital camera can nowadays record. And we have a so-called frame image scan technology so that you don't have any rolling shutter. So we, it's a CMOS sensor, but with this frame inch scan technology, you don't have any rolling shutter, which you normally have shooting with a CMOS sensor. 4K is one possibility you can shoot with the F55, but it's not the only one. So on the SBS card, you can yeah, choose different codecs or formats you want to record. So first of all, you can record XTCAM HD, so our HD uh, broadcast format and in future with the firmware upgrade in summer you can also shoot or record HDCAM SR uh, so internally 444 recording uh, which is yeah, the first time ever with a Sony camera and XABC so the new format which will allow 4K recording will also bring HD high frame rates and then up to 180 frames per second on this card. As you can see it's a um, the whole concept of the F5 or F55 is um, yeah, to be modular, to be flexible in terms of yeah, formats you can record, but also in terms of how you set up the camera. So this one at the moment it's the yeah, it's a small internal recording only um, setup, and what you can do as well, you can use this little raw recorder. So it's a called R5, AXS R5, and then you can put this raw recorder directly on on the back of the camera. Um, to record externally raw and then it's a 16-bit linear raw that means yeah even here the highest quality ever uh, you can get and this is for 4k and in future it will also come for 2k recording up to 240 frames per second um, in 2k as I said so let's flip it off and then you can see how it fits directly on the body and uh, how the size will change when the raw recorder is plugged on. So this one is an easy um, attachment system. So just flip it here, flip it there, and then you are ready to, to, uh, to put the raw recorder on. This same system, plug it on, V mount battery on the back, turn it off, power for the monitor, and ready to go. So now we are ready to shoot 4K internal, or if you want to go external, you can shoot 4K or 16 bit, as I said, and even parallel HD on the SBS card. For the raw recording, we have introduced a new card. It's this AXS card, which comes with 512 gigabyte. That means in 4K 60 frames, you can get around about half an hour on this card. So if you, if you record it on the SBS card or even the raw on the AXS card, um, we are offering several applications to go the next step into the post-production. So 
Um, for the SBS cards, we are offering the so-called content browser application so that you can browse through these files already. And for the raw files, we have a raw viewer. So that means with this raw viewer, you can yeah, take a look on your raw files, you can convert these into DPX and so on. But if you want to go into a gra color grading um, system, which is available on the market from different vendors, all of them can already um, support our raw. So there is no need to convert the raw files or the XABC files because all the big players in the market are already yeah, supporting this codec or these formats, and uh, which is yeah, really great um, uh, for the customers. As you can see, we have a full system here. So it's not only the camera board, it's not only the raw recorder or even the new battery which, which fits directly into this um, uh, camera. It's a whole system, so here we have an OLED viewfinder, so it's the first OLED viewfinder um, developed by Sony. It's a high resolution viewfinder with 1280 by 720 pixels and the OLED technology brings stunning performances in terms of contrast ratio but also you have also a sharp picture if you um, will focus. And on top, as you can see, so for the assistance, for example, it's a 7-inch Full HD display, uh, which you can also use for other cameras because it's a normal SDI input, so it can be used for every other camera on top. Last but not least, don't forget about the lenses. We introduced some new lenses. So this is a uh, 25mm uh, lens. They are really fast with the T-stop of 2.0. We have different millimeters like 25, uh, 35, 50, 85, and 135, and the widest is the 20 millimeters. And as you can see, that they're really uh, robust. Uh, they are made um, for 4K uh, shooting. So yeah, let's try them and take a look how good they really are. And last but not least, of course, because we are shooting 4K, we have the possibility to get a 4K signal out of this camera live. So also for first time to see a 4K live image on a monitor, we have also a 4K monitor. So it's the first time uh, that you can be on production and have your 30 inch 4K uh, monitor there and see the live picture which comes out of the F55. So during the development of these, of the whole F-series system, um, so not only the camera body or the raw recorder, even the accessories and all these things which belongs, uh, which belongs to it, um, there was a, yeah, the aim or the target to make it easy, flexible and um, that means you can see the sub-panel which gives you great and easy access to the most uh, important functions. The body itself is really light, uh, just 2.3-2.4 uh, kilograms, 25 watt which is power consumption really less and as you can see it's really compact in size and um, yeah and this is I would say a really great um, solution to go into the 4K world and to also to yeah, shoot in RAW, to shoot in different um, formats, and uh, to get the best out of the, the, the best out of the camera which is available at the moment. We also have internal ND filters. As I said, we have a high ISO sensitivity of 1250. So we have already a three stop and a six stop ND filter inside. And um, one unique feature is this mount. So we have a PL mount on top, but you also have the possibility to detach the PL mount so that you can go to any other adapter you want. So there are a lot of adapters in the market so that you can use Canon um, still camera lenses like uh, Canon EF or Nikon or Leica um, lenses. So you are not forced to use PL lenses. If you have some really great still lenses, you can use them with a uh, third party adapter as well. So as, again, highest flexibility in terms of uh, how you can use the camera and what you want to shoot with them. To start into the 4K world, this is not only the start into the 4K world because you can start into the 4K world even with the F5 with a raw recorder or you can in the in summer you can even start in the 4K world with the FS700 which are um, also usable to use this raw recorder. If you want to start um, into the 4K world for internal recording, so then F55, then it's around about uh, 30,000 euros. 
so that means the body itself is uh, close to 20, 28,000 euros and then you're already ready to shoot in 4K on the SPS cards. So if you want to have a running system, I would say, uh, that means body, viewfinder, um, a battery, for example, and um, a lens, then you are around about 37,000 euros. So there is on, on prosony.eu, uh, we have uploaded our roadmap for this camera, so you can easily uh, identify which firmware version will, uh, will bring which additional feature. All the firmware updates are uh, free of charge. So for example, in summer of this year, there will be the internal 444 recording, or um, in September or December, there will be these high frame rate updates. But you will just then download it, put it on the SD card, and install it in the camera, and then you're ready to go with this as well.